When your confidence allows you to drift from your father, you no longer realize the dangers positioned against you by this world, our enemy in this world, and your own flesh. You are now walking and working in things of vanity and have forgotten the instructions God has imparted to us. He then stops imparting wisdom and removes understanding. Not knowing the dangers that face our spiritual walk, they make us fearless. Do you notice that the greatest need you have of your Father is when you're afraid? This keeps you close to Him, but self-confidence has drifted you away, and it is the enemy of the fear of the Lord. You place your labor in a place of destruction, and because you are distanced from God's Word, you are there without understanding. Job 39.13 The peacock that leaves her eggs in the earth and warms them in the dust and forgets that the foot may crush them or the beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones as if they were not her labor. She has labored in vain without the fear of the Lord because God has deprived her of wisdom. Neither has he given her understanding. When you build your own foundation, you take your labor to another place, a place without awareness. You trusted your own rock, not the one of refuge provided by your Father. In this space you are powerless, and God will repent your service. Deuteronomy 32.36 For the Lord will judge his people and repent himself for their servants. He sees their power is gone. In verse 37, he says, He will say, Where is their God, their rock in whom they trusted? When does self-confidence become your God? When you stand on your knowledge and can't be moved from it, it becomes a rock, a path of saving yourself by your own works. Deuteronomy 32, 29. Oh, I wish that they were wise, that they could understand this, that they would consider what waits for them in the end. Verse 31 says, For their rock is not our rock. God has a few things to say about this rock of confidence. Proverbs 3.26 For the Lord shall be your confidence and will keep your foot from being taken. Philippians 3.3 3, Rejoice in Jesus Christ and have no confidence in the flesh. Proverbs 14.26 The fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge. You know, we were told in Job 39.13 that the proud peacock labors in vain without strength in the fear of the Lord. She places her labor on a path fit for destruction. Without God's instruction, she has been deprived of wisdom and understanding. Jeremiah 2.37 Yes, you will drift from him with your hands on your head, because the Lord has rejected your confidence. You shall not prosper. You see, I understand this confidence. It's hard to break. In the past, it has protected and provided for you. And the words, I can do it, sing to you. But what God wants from you are not in you. It is why we surrender to spiritual instruction and allow God to shelter you and provide for you. And his provisions are in his only son. Isaiah 32, 2. A man shall be a hiding place from the wind, a cover from the storms, rivers of water of a great rock in a dreary land. You see, the prodigal son leaves because of self-confidence. He leaves the fear of the Lord behind him, and his labor becomes a place of vanity. He has left the shadow and shelter of a great rock to move into a dreary land. 
the Father is calling for you to return, and I hope you do. This is food that I provided to my family for years. I want to now provide it to you. I hope you'll share it with a friend. If you like it, I'll provide more. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.